G'day, I'm Stephen Spry and welcome back to another Transport Fever 2 realistic running episode. We've been working on uh, dressing up Stow Market Station with freight and passenger buildings and so on and adding this monstrous, yes, monstrous, uh, in a good way, big, monstrous as in big, not in monstrous as in yuck, <laughs> uh, freight terminal, uh, into use a change yard, whatever, uh, but by God, it's boring, absolutely boring. And today, well, as well as finishing off this little problem I've got up the end here, i.e. there's stuff missing, uh, I'm going to make it look a little bit more interesting by adding a few things like, um, well, fences. Yeah, yeah, so that's the plan for today. Sit back, make yourself a cup of coffee and enjoy. Um, Hmm, where to start? Well, uh, I think you start by finishing off what you wanted here, don't you? Uh, mm, okay, all right. What did you want here? Uh, well, uh, every good yard needs, um, as far as I'm concerned, one of these. One of the, these, these, these things here. Building? Yep, 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 yep. Where is it? Uh, well, if you went onto track, you'd find it. Oh, pfft. Minor detail. I want one of these things. Yes. I want a, 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 a turntable. Right. And um, I want to have a few. A few. How many is a few? Five, six. Six will do. Yep. Six will do. And I want um, one of these, I think it's the L. No, it's not the L. It's not the L, it's the M. That's the fella. Right, there we go. Nicely done. Now, um, unfortunately, the grass comes through. Oh, it does look a bit unfortunate, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we can easily fix that up by finding cutted grass, yep, that's either the dark one or the light one, take your pick and make it small and just coming in and whizzing around it like that you could have used ballast, uh, you could have done dirt, anything that's short, not like the long grass that's out here, cool now what, well there's our turntable uh, need to add some extra bits of track now this is 30k extra bits I'm going to make it 25 meters long a couple of straight sections of track I'm going to park some locos on these oh right oh okay yes now remember all of this ground needs to be oh, oh you're going to be a pain are you fighting with the road it looks like it if it wants to be a pain just get in a bit closer and it won't snap oh, 25 what were you saying about level yeah well all of this area because it's rail it should be level and uh, everything's going to look great all right park some logos here shall we Okie dokie, uh, assets, that's that fella. There are two mods that we can use. Uh, there's, mm, oh, if you've got various vehicle assets, you could use them. But what? The, what which one are you looking for? I'm looking for, not that one. Where is it? Well, this is the trouble with mods, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Vehicle asset builder, right. If you use this one, right, let's find a loco that's of this era. We've been have we been using a ten wheeler? Um, BR fifty threes, I think. Oh, okay. All right. BR fifty three is somewhere around there. Okay. Now, if you use this mod for your locos, we can just park one there and have a little look. Look what happens. We've got steam, and we've got lights, and yet it's parked. Right. 
which is possibly okay, but maybe not okay. So I want to use this one, which is simply, what's it called? All trains or something. I'll put it, I'll put it up on the screen um, so you can see, but here we go. Let's find the BR53. That's that fella. All right. Now, you do have the option here to have lights and smoke on or off. I think we'll just have it off. Also see it's in the original colour. Uh, yeah. That one you can't change the colour. It's black. It's like the 1949 Holden that was first released in Australia. So you can have any colour you like as long as it's black. Right, well, um... We'll park a few of these locos here. You could leave one of them with the steam going, I suppose. What about all this grass? Ah, well, you know what I feel about weeds, don't you, sir? I do, indeed. All right, well, let's just... paint out the weeds. Okay. Six tracks going to be enough there? More then. Right. Now... These came out of an engine shed. Aha. But um, it's not connected. Well, um, that's a problem. Yeah. Now, when you last saw our freight yard, I hadn't finished off the roads. So I've obviously done that. But now... Um, hmm. Right, this engine shed needs to connect here somehow. Okay, just there, right, and then I want to go from here, right, cross over to that. Cool. So we now have access from the this engine shed over to the turntable to spin stuff around. It, they can also come down here if they want to and start playing with the sidings or whatever. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Here comes our yellow freight train. Yeah. Look where he's going now, by the way. I limited the number of tracks where he's coming in. Why, why did you... And the green one. Well, I did have them set up for four. And I thought, well, um, one of these tracks needs to be a run around at least. Uh, possibly two. Uh, and I wanted spare sidings upon which to park stuff so that's the other thing that we can do down here we can go back to those assets and back to this particular mod if you want to you can go to the euro cargo wagon oh okay um, what do we got well box cars tank cars um steak cars let's do the long ones hey we can park a couple of long ones just like this doesn't want to play. Well, is there an uh, offset? Uh, let's try the four. What does that do? That puts them closer, I think. Mm. I, I don't like this. Oh, the, the setting. It, it, look, they're only here for decoration. Just park them. <laughs> Sir, park them. What did you select then? I thought I selected that. Okay. Uh, green. Couple of box cars. Yep. And what else have we got? Oh, some of these. Okay, cool. Would they be on the same line? Well, uh, that's what shunting yards are all about, aren't they? They can be anywhere. Oh, the green one's in now. Okay, where's he going? Those two. So we've got this track's free. Okay, well, let's park some oil wagons. Oh, not green. Oh, just go default then. What colour's default? Uh, white, I think, for these ones. So the idea with these is that you simply fill up the yard with 
parked vehicles, the tracks that aren't being used by your current locos. Okay. Uh, what else isn't being used? Wow, you've got all of those gondolas. You haven't used gondolas yet. Okay. Let's have some gondolas on. Um, this track, I think, is free. Sure. Now, I've got some um, GWR wagons. Where are those? Um, right here. All right, well, let's add a hmm, couple of different variations. We've got these wagons. Yes, those, those, these. Okay, come down. We can just put a... A nice little collection. These seem to click together a bit better, spacing-wise. Okay, ale. Got to have a couple of bale wagons. Oh, we can do more than one, can we? Oh, what happens if we do a string of them? Um, I think the track has to be straight. Uh, yeah, looks that way, doesn't it? Bugger. Um, well, we could probably get away with two. Owl wagons. What's a W5? Um, one of them. W3 late. Yeah, alright. Uh, empty full. Oh! My gosh, you've got so much. Well, you have. You can do whatever you want here. Uh, let's take it. Where's that other one gone? Oh, th these guys, isn't it? No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Oh my gosh, this is the trouble with assets. Oh, look at all of these. You could, yeah. That's this is the trouble with assets. There are so many. The moment you start loading up on assets, <sighs> you just look. You've given the people. Oh, I, I want to use one of them. Well, use one of them. Okay, one or two of those. Wasn't there? Um, one where you look at what else you've got in here all, all sorts of good stuff I thought there was one where you could no that's not it that's certainly not it mm, nah lost it ah, well that's no good Well, there's all sorts of junk we can put here Cabooses. Okay, cabooses. Well, you've got the American style caboose. Yep. All right. Um, I want to put them over here. We'll have a we'll have a track specially for them to park on. Because they're the ones that we've got here, I think. Yes. But there are others. We've got the English style. These guys. We could park a couple of these here. This is a bit of a caboose track. Where spare cabooses? <laughs> cabooses, caboose are parked. We'll try turn it around that way. Yep. All right, this is looking good. What has happened here? How did we get? machines while well, it's connected because the spitz carrier here has the footpath connections on it reaches down to the machines factory ah so machines are being dumped here where are they going windermere i think are they they are too windermere freight why well windermere wants machines look Okay, well, that's pretty cool. All right, w come on, you haven't finished this yet. Why are there no buildings on this, by the way? Well, there is a roundhouse mod, but look at the year. It's only 1985. The roundhouse mod, which comes, I think, with the Madrid station pack, um, only kicks in in 1910. And I didn't like the way the um, turntable worked with that either. So, all right. Uh, 
let's do something here. A bit of track, right? What do you What are you doing? Um trying. Hmm. Well, I'm just laying in some extra track here, right? Because I want to put another engine shed depot thing over this side. If I come straight through there, am I going to fit it? I don't know. You're the one telling the story. All right, well, let's have a look. Spin it around. Well, you're not going to fit it like that. So get rid of that then. Um, you need a little bit of track. Just a tad. And make it level. Well, that's going to be a dot. Whoop, too much. Uh, a shift dot. Whoop. Just the one. Cool. And then try your depot. You only just fitted that in around the road. I know. And end there too, but okay, that's fine. Back to the track. Okay. Um, bring that up to level with them. Yeah. Is this one going to go all the way through? I don't know, is it? We could make it. Alright, let's make it. No, hang on a sec. What? Put two engine sheds. Oh, sure. Okay, all right. Put two engine sheds there. How's this going to work? Uh, my gosh. Oh, this isn't work. Look. Okay, I'll get rid of it. Hmm. You know what might be a good idea here? Yes, getting rid of the road for now. And just bringing this out. It's not level. Go back to your terrain tools and make sure that... Oh, see? A little bump there. Right, I see. Right, now put it back in. Depot. Roads in the way. Bit more track then, bit more track. And now try the building. What happened? Why, why did you put a bend in that? I didn't think I did, but it wants to. Alright, well. Bugger off, road. <laughs> in the way, man. Did spinning to the. Okay, well, obviously this little curvy thing that you put in there is getting in the way. No, look, it's still spinning to the right. Or to the left. Right, well, that is very interesting, isn't it? Lay it again straight. Yeah, it's working really well. Right, to there, yep. And come across. Is it straight? I think so. It's going to do it. No, it's not this time. That one isn't working at all well, is it? Uh, no. But, I tell you what, I'm just going to whack it in here. I'm going to and this is the great thing about this build anyway mod. Just spin it around a frez. Shift dot. Oh, you don't want to line up perfectly, do you? No, not really. How's that? Click right. Okay, that'll work. Is your track going to marry up now? Um, no. <laughs> well, doesn't have to. You can simply come out maybe like that. Yeah, well, I don't like that. Oh. Come out straight, Stephen. Okay, now, by the looks of it, 
you want to connect up to something here and you want to do something All right, I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I think I want an extra track there. Right. And that could come quite a long way along here. I suppose. It could. And go in there, maybe. Yep. And I'm just going to give it another little access point the, ooh, hang on a second. No, I'm not. I'm going to give it another access point here. Why didn't you want it on that side? Well, I've got to get from here over to there. Alright. And then run these guys in like that. And then, yeah... And then I've got to connect this fellow to here. I don't know where you're going with this. Oh, I do. It's all right. Don't panic. Um, coming out. Straight-ish. Right. Uh, trim him off. So that I can put a curve in here. No. <coughs> Spend a lot of time farting around with these things, don't you? Yeah, you do a little bit. But, you know, that's all very good. So why did you do that? Well, we've got a track now for our park locos or our turned around locos to get out of here without interfering with this traffic. Oh, speaking of which, you might as well get going again. Um, and on their way out, yes, we'll go back to assets and we'll find mm, a coaling tower. That's monstrous. I know. It's huge, isn't it? Can it go on the other side? Uh, like that, you mean? Yeah, you just sort of wiggle it like that. Okay, so we've got steam locos and they need to be loaded with coal. Yes, they also need... That's the one I was looking for earlier. Right, generic British open wagons. Why? Well, um, let's imagine that this coal has got to come from somewhere and you've got a train that's brought a couple of them down here right zippity doo da and this would be an active train so we'll get the BR53 involved and we can pretend that that guy is dropping the coal off for the coaling tower cool what else can we pretend well Water tank, sure. Uh, so once the trains have got their coal, yeah, they would then load up with water. Right. They could also load up with sand. So this is the track where they either come in and they fill up on the way into parking for the night or they can come out and load up on their way out to start work roger now you've got one problem with all of this yeah i just saw it <laughs> move that hmm move that yep okay uh, move that <coughs> what was the problem um the road that isn't across there yet <sighs> right it's one of these it's a 20k and it's that one, right. Well, let's just put you through. Thank you. And now we can place those assets that we <coughs> previously had in place. Okay, Sandhouse, 
um, water tower. Is that right? I think so. Right next to one another, and right up the other end. Oh, right up the other end. Well, you've got this monster here. No, that's far too big, Stephen. Well, it is a big yard. Um. Yeah, I suppose it is. All right, let's put a big coaling tower there. Will you need... Ah, yeah, I would. Maybe it would be better if... Oh, if we brought the coal down here on that one. All right, to dump it. We could pretend that it gets dumped here. Because I have absolutely no idea how these things work. <coughs> um, bow, bow, B, A. There we go. There we go. Clean that up. Get rid of it. You could probably find coal, right? And paint all this area with spilled coal. Right? And we'll go back to our assets again. Where was it? It was that fellow. Right. Okay. I'm just going to... This time I'm just going to park some wagons here. Because I don't really want the train working it. Um, problem? Yes, I know. Track. Track. I didn't want it to go all the way up to the road. I just want it to stop like that. Perfect. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, we've got a couple of engine sheds. <coughs> I think you've got to put that road back in around here. Uh, yeah. Pain in the backside. All right, let's see. Why would you have this road here anyway? Well, because this would grant access around the back of these engine parking bays, I suppose. Um, it's not... Oh, yes, it does like you. That's fine. That's good. Right. What else have you got to go? Oh, heaps more. Heaps, 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 heaps. Where are we? Uh, signal boxes. Every good yard needs a signal box or two. In fact, this one needs a couple. Uh, let's... I like the green. Is that the green? Yes, I'm going to make it big because it's a big yard. We're going to need a humongous signal box. Spin it around. Come on. So we can see everything. Okay, ground. Yes. Um, autos, fine. Windows, autos, steps. Steps? Yes, we have steps. Fire buckets, yes. Lamp, yes. Signal and position. Both. It's still steam. And we're going to whack this guy here. So this fellow, this signal box, controls this end of the yard. He can see all the way up to there, all the way across, through the turntable. So he, he, he controls this area, right. And there needs to be another one up here to control this end of the yard. Really? Yeah, maybe not as big. Um... We'll just put him in... There's a good spot for him. Ah. Can he see everything from there? He can. He can see the yard shunt, I suppose. Turn around a bit. Oh, You're not pressing the shift key, are you? No, I thought I was. It was the um, <laughs> enter key. 
there. Good. Oh, I know what I forgot. <sighs> what else do Steam Locos need? Um, this stuff. Water. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, we're going to have a water tank here as well. How high? I'll make it a bit all length. Um, wow. Well, you've already got the water there, but I love these big English water tanks. So, let's make it huge. Wow, that's a lot of water. Yep. This might have been the original one, and... Um, Mm, not quite sure how this is going to work. <laughs> Don't know much, do you? No, not really. Um, let's come back to paint tools and, and not coal. Oh, sorry. Ballast. Yeah, ballast would be better. Yeah, let's just... <coughs> You've got a lot of weeding to do here. Well, not really. Most of it's been done. Okay. You think that's fine? Yeah, that'll be good. All right. Uh, what else would you need to have here? What other assets could you use? Okay. Uh, coming with the English signal box is also uh, a railway, general railway building. Um, we'll stick with the LNER. LNS. What do you want? No, LNER. I like the green. Okay. Um, this is, we'll call this a yard office. Alright. A yard office where these people in here keep an eye on what the hell's happening in the yard. Alright, so we've got, where's the door? The door is here. Like windows? Yeah, well the windows should face the yard, shouldn't they? Yes, I'd imagine so. All right, ground height, not to track. We'll put you... Can you see everything from there? Well, we can keep an eye, an eye on all the train traffic and all the road traffic in and out of this place from there. So that looks like a good thought. Mm -hmm. So, another one anywhere else? Well... It wouldn't hurt. We probably have another one down here somewhere. You know, it might be where the crew uh, come to get their daily orders. Right. For the, the train drivers. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, we'll put a, a bit of a road there for them. Nice. All right, come in. Right, pick up our orders, grab the train, scram out of here. Nice. Oh. <sighs> what else we got? Uh, you could park some more stuff here. And 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 possibly um mm, Well, you could possibly park Stuff. Stuff. Yep, official word, official term. We could park stuff um, along here, along here, along here. And, and to be honest with you, parking stuff, vehicles, whatever, on these tracks is probably the best way to make these areas look less boring than what it was when we first started. Bit of shift. Bit of shift to fill in that brown not so much there oh fair enough ooh don't want the brown ok don't want the grass don't want the weeds oh, ballast PA a bit down there and a bit 
there. Hold the shift key down. Okay, so our yard's starting to look a little bit uh, more like a yard now. The buildings, the um, the different sorts of vehicles. Now you could um, have, let's say, what else have we got here? We could go back to our. Uh, yeah, where are we? Euro Loco Steam. Okay, we could put. On this track, perhaps, um, maybe this is a repair track or something like that. Where vehicles come in and they're, they're just parked themselves here to get fixed. We had a Borsig on the other one, so is that the Borsig? I think so. Well, he's probably in need of urgent repair, and there's a whole heap of. Um, BR-53s here that would need attention, so, yeah, okay, what about, well, where did that other one go that you, you didn't find early, um, that guy, yes, alright, I've got some coal parked there, or, 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 iron, or, Five plank. Let's just park a whole heap of iron ore here. Right. Why? Because we can. I don't know why it's parked here, but it is. Uh, that's where it was left. For whatever reason. How many? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. You want a brake van on that? Uh, nope, can't fit it. <laughs> How about a couple of empties? Sure. Not empties, empty five blanks. Okay. That'll do. Beautiful. So you could simply quite... Simply quite? You mean quite simply? That's it. Quite simply just keep adding, adding. My gosh use your words I could use words I could simply keep adding a whole heap of all these vehicle assets to the sidings that aren't getting used especially up here in the yard um, but I think where is it <clears throat> good question I don't know while well, you were you saw it here well, you've got a couple of guys, and you've got some cranes. Do you want to add some cranes? Um, don't know. Do I? Well, let's see what happens if you put a, try and put a crane here. They want to snap to the track. They do, don't they? Um, that's not going to work. Track. Ground. Hmm. That's, that's not playing for you, is it? I thought they snap to the road as well. They don't look like they do. Well, you know what? I'm going to make it look like it does. Like, here we go. Boom. Um, why not? bloke's hanging out. Oh, there he is. He's hanging out. He's swinging around. All right, a couple of cranes. There we go. A couple of cranes in the yard doing crane stuff. Bit of shift. And to spin it around. And maybe over here. No, it wouldn't be with them, it'd probably be with these. It'd be next to the... like that. Right. But that's not what you wanted to do, is it? No, 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 it isn't. It's And I wanted to go the other way. Other way, come on. Uh, fences. Okay, which one is it? Uh, well, it's not that one. 
Well, the one you used is this. That one, I think. No. No. Has to be. Oops. It'll do. No, it won't. That's the fella I wanted. Okay, good. Um, lost it. Back to assets. Okay. We shall construct a fence along this road, hey? We'll start by... Just doing one segment. Now we'll hit arc. And we'll just keep following this curve. You've got it the wrong way around, Dopey. Bugger, I have to. Alright, I've added the fence wrong. You know how you get rid of this? Well, I could kill them one at a time, which is a pain. Or I could just do that. I think I like that idea better. All right, fence. Um, is that the fence mod? It is. All right, that fellow. All right. Now, get them around the right way. Okay, start with the line there, yes. And then go to arc. And we'll just keep... That's it. Look at that. You're just snapping it into the edge of that road. Yep. It's going to go all the way along the road. So the arc works along... All sorts of curves and or straights. Okay. Uh, you need a line now, I'd say, to come out to here. back and long and let's say we come across to here and I, I, I don't know what I'm going to put here maybe there's a gate or an asset or something like that that you can find to put in this place well that's what that guy should have been he should have been a bit closer well he still can be Let's find him again, yes, and make it a small one. Okay, spin it. And then he can sit right here, maybe with the door on that side. And he can keep an eye on stuff, stuff, you know. <laughs> on, on people coming in and out of the yard. Because this is the only road entry in and out of the yard. There's nothing connecting it over that side. And you just keep doing this sort of stuff. And it ends up looking like it's meant to be. Okay, this guy's smoking away over here. Well, there's all sorts of things you can do. I know what I haven't done. What haven't you done? Signals. Oh, really? What sort of signals are you going to put in here? Well, um, not the ones you'd expect. Not these guys. No, we can use um, right hand. Has to be right hand. Ground signals. We probably need something on the approach side of both of those on the approach side of this junction mm. and maybe up here definitely up there because this is the runaround track you're going to get a lot of traffic coming up and through here yep okay um, oh wow what happened there um, I think you need some ballast <sighs> BA that'll do What was that? Was that that extra track that you just put in? Yeah, I think so. OK. 
Okay. So, carefully, you could decide where you wanted to put all these signals. Uh, you'd have the big one on the main line, like that, because that's the main approach. But here, this is just a little siding. Right, and possibly even... No, I think it'd be before that point. It'd be there. Okay. Definitely you'd have something here. And coming that way. Mm, well, it'd be here, wouldn't it? Because the guys that were coming along here wouldn't be going straight normally. They'd be going down that way, down into the yard ladder. Okay, so the signal would be for the fellow coming out of that depot. Yep, all right. What about up the other end? Um, jeez, I don't want to go here. <laughs> chicken. Alright. Um, maybe something at the end of the... Ooh, what is the... It's right there. Maybe something at the end of the head shunt to stop something coming out and interfering with traffic that's already headed this away. Okay. And... Look, these guys have got to have to work somehow. Or well, they're just going to yell at the loco drivers. Ah, it's all right, mate. Off you go. Do it. Yeah, no. All right, look, I, I don't know. I, I'll leave it up to you to decide how you want to signal this yard. Maybe. Maybe each of the sidings would have something there like this. Stop the trains coming out once they were on these sidings. Not so much on this. Mm. Yeah. Where's our big one? He's coming in there. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not a signal expert. Well, technically, you'd also have something coming this way. I know most of it goes in, but you've got that green one that comes back through there. So you need something to stop him going out. Mm, yeah, okay. Whew. And there we go. There's an awful lot more I could do with this yard. In fact, what I, what I, what I could do, let's, um, let's just, where is it? Ta-dum, 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 dum. Assets, that's the fellow. Right. Fencing, that's not fencing. No, that's fencing, and it's pretty close. Which one did you want? I want that fella. All right. I'm going to start off with, from here, coming out a little way. Bit of an arc to follow the curve of the road. Oh, just keep it back from the edge of the road. Down to here. Yep. And then straight along to there. That'll do. And back in. Yeah. All right. Back in. Where? Nice and straight. To that point. Okay. And then down to here. Right. What are we doing? Creating a bit of a paddock. Oh, jolly good. Um, straight. Yeah, do the line. Now do the arc. Over to there. And do a line up to there and finish. Right. Okay. Big paddock. Yep. Big paddock needs. Lots of animals. I, I like, let's do some horses. Um, Gross, middle, client. I think we just do 
normal. Not large, not small. Okay. This guy's going to hang out near the fence here. Oh, hello. Oh, cool. A couple of horses. Nice things. They're keeping an eye on what's going on. <laughs> and, of course... These guys would... My God, that is huge. It is, isn't it? Well. There's the shade for them in the paddock. A couple of horses over there. And the whole point of all of this sort of stuff is if you're doing a cab ride, let's just stop for a second find somewhere. Oh, the dogs are going crazy. My son's dogs. I'm dog sitting in southern New South Wales at the moment. Which is perhaps why the microphone might sound a tad different. Here we go. So we're coming out now. And how fast are you going? Oh, that wasn't, wasn't going too fast, was it? I think you were. All right. But see, the point is now we can see fences that you've added. Oh, okay. I see horse's nose. Yeah, and a fence that goes very wonkily up the side of that road. Right. If you could set up a horse and cart route that goes through here, that would be interesting. But let's have a little look again from here. Okay, I can see the fence all the way along in front of that building. Roger. Okay. I think it just makes it look a little bit more realistic. We've obviously got a lot more fencing to do, areas to fence off. Um, we could park some... Um, where are we? Assets. That one? Is that the one? No, that's not the one. There is, oh my gosh, this is the trouble with assets. You get in here and then all of a sudden you've got so much junk in here, you have no idea how to find it. And you've got to go, well, there's buildings, there's cargo loads, there's, there's all sorts of stuff. Up to you. Have fun doing it. I was saying, I do have just a horse and cart. They've got to be in here. Thought they were. Where where are we? Of course they are. They're in this <coughs> um not buses, no. Trucks. Yep, all right. Horse drawn carriage? Mm. Asian? All right. Uh maybe not. Just the the little one. Okay. That fella, yeah. Maybe he can just park here for a second. He's come. The bloke's come to chat to the uh, fella in the signal box. Or, well, here we go. Put him on the road near the crane. All right. Try the other one. Uh, European covered. That's better. Covered? No. Flat bed. Flat bed. Yeah. You'd have a flat bed with a crane, wouldn't you? So this guy's hanging out here with his horses, waiting for the train to come in so he can unload onto his horse and cart. How's that? <laughs> You're telling the story. Sounds all right to me. Well, good. Glad that sounds all right to you, except you're on the wrong platform. Maybe you should have come over to this guy. I don't. But there we go. Just a little bit more effort to make things look a little bit more realistic. I could probably spend another hour or so um, fiddling around placing wagons, different sorts of wagons in different spots all through here. 
I could have uh, loaded ones or empty ones, extra cabezas parked around the place, um, extra locos. Could do all sorts of stuff. <coughs> None of it has anything to do with making the game run better from uh, a tycoon perspective. It's not going to make you any more money. In fact, it's going to waste time. It's going to waste money. <laughs> But it depends on what you want to do. So let's have a little look from this guy as we come past and look at what's going on in the yard now. We can see all sorts of stuff happening. Buildings and so on. Oh, well, overhead buildings. Yeah. Oh, trains, park carriages, cranes, engine sheds starting to look like a, a yard. Hmm. This hill looks a bit steep, Stephen. Yeah, I'm not going to... Ooh, geez, I reckon that looks steep. What's going on down there? Ah, uh, don't know. Don't care. <laughs> and on that note... Hey. Oh, hello, mate. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks all the same. And thank you for joining me, Stephen Spry. For episode nine, is it? Realistic running. Hmm. Is there much more to come? Oh, eventually we'll get there. Schedule's been slightly disrupted with me being down at my son's place at the moment, dog sitting and helping him move to a new house. But uh, yeah. life happens. <laughs> and in the meantime, it's Huru from me, and it's goodbye from him. Thanks, guys. Catch you soon. Bye.